I had some micro servos lying around, so I plugged them in, wrote a little bit of code, and boom, now they're controllable on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, by the way, this is what happens if you set them up wrong. I just thought it looked funny. I bought some laser diodes off Amazon, and if I plug one of them in, it makes the red dot on the wall. Now, as this laser turret is going to be pointed at me, I need to make sure that I don't blind myself. So I'm turning the top of the diode to change the laser's focus, which will cause the light to spread out more. With how I've got it set up now, it's kind of like having a really focused flashlight pointed at me. I've got a little program that controls the servos manually with my mouse. The response times are pretty good, and the point on the screen tracks pretty well with where the laser goes. So I think it's ready to be used in a bigger project. Now, what's the fun of having a laser robot if you have to control it manually and you have nothing to point it at? I put a camera next to it so now my program can see, which unlocks the possibility of automatically aiming lasers at things. If you've seen a certain Michael Reeves video, you might be thinking, let's track faces and point lasers at them. No, three reasons. One, face tracking is hard and annoying to code. Or maybe it's not, it's probably like three lines of code in Python, but I've never tried. Two, even though these diodes aren't particularly strong and their beam is spread out, I don't want to intentionally, actively shine a laser in my eye. And three, it's already been done in the Michael Reeves video. My idea, movement detection. Find which pixels change the most and point the laser there. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Okay, well, now that we know the motion detection works, let's hook it up to the laser turret. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, what's happening here is the laser is moving, causing the software to detect the laser moving, causing the laser to move. This is fixable though. Because the laser is red, I just need to tell my program to mask out pixels that are too red. On the right here, you can see where my program thinks the laser is, so it can filter that area out. And with that, it's done. It's all set up and finished, so now I'm just going to mess around with it. <laughs> 